The new Flash CS3 includes a more streamlined workspace. As with the other CS3 programs, the use of icons is now included with any of the palette options. You can select the double arrows pointing to the left to expand the selections, or select the double arrows pointing to the right to contract them again and maximize the room for your workspace. The tools can also be expanded to either two-column format or contract it again to a single column format. The timeline will be featured above and you can determine placement as well as how this area will be viewed, either tiny, small, normal, medium, large, a preview, previewing context, short, or whether to use tinted frames. You can insert layers, add the motion guide, insert a layer folder, or delete a particular layer, as well as manage the other elements within your timeline. For the actual scene itself, we can make this fit in the window, show frames, show all, or input a specific percentage. We can also view details for the workspace, either default, icons and text default, icons only, save the current workspace, or manage the workspace. Below, the properties, filters, and parameters will be available by the tabs, or you can minimize this information to increase the actual workspace area. You can view scenes if you have multiple scenes for your document, as well as view symbols associated with your document. 